What's up, Peter? So today you're going to be learning about how to find y-intercept. We learned about how to find slope last week. Um, so with some quick reminders, an equation of a line can be written in slope-intercept form with y equals mx plus b. Okay, we've gone over this equation a lot. You need to know what these pieces are, where m is slope and b is the y-intercept, okay? x and y are just simply the coordinates of a point, okay? Your slope is always next to your x, and the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis, okay? You need to know this. So if we're looking at um, this, okay, so writing equations of lines slope-intercept form, we have steps. So like first, you find the y-intercept, which is your b. So think, where does the line cross the y-axis? So on this particular question, the line crosses at negative 2. And then for two, the step two, you need to find the slope, which is your m. What is your rise over run? Now, if you remember correctly, when we're looking at line of best fit, we don't use the points, the actual little black dots on your scatter plot, but we look only at the line of best fit, and we have to create and find our own points that fall at the cross sections. So for this particular line, we're going to go down one, and over one, two, because our line is crossing right at some crosshairs right here. So our slope would be negative one over two. Once you have that, you're going to substitute those answers into your equation and solve. So um, your m is negative one over two, and your y-intercept is negative two. So your equation is going to be y equals negative one over two x minus two. Okay. And so... Uh, Let's keep going. That's for if you're in person. So if we are given the slope and a point, this is the step. So step one, substitute the slope in into your equation. Step two, substitute the coordinates of the given point x and y into the slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b. Step three, then write the equation of a line, substitute the slope m and the y-intercept b into the slope intercept form. Y equals mx plus b, and you have your answer. Okay, so now... Um, let's kind of look at an example here. So we have, um, suppose we have a slope of negative 4 and it passes to the point negative 1, 3, okay? And so what we can do is we can say, okay, so we have this equation, y equals mx oops, plus b, right? And so what we can do now is that we can say, okay, well, I know my m is negative 4 because it's given, so negative 4 times our x, which is also given, which is negative 1. We're going to substitute out x for what we know it is. We don't know what b is, so that's what we're going to be looking for. But we also know what our y is, because our y is also given to us. It is 3. And so now all we do from here is we just solve for b. So negative 4 times negative 1 is going to give us a positive 4 plus b. We still don't know what that y is, or sorry, what that um, y-intercept is. So now we're at 3 equals 4 plus b. We're going to bring that 4 over on both sides. We're crossing that wall, so we're going to do the opposite of a positive 4 and subtract it on both sides. 3 minus 4 is going to give us a negative 1, so our answer is negative 1 equals b. But that's not our official final answer, right? We're going to write it in the y equals mx plus b form, so y equals... Your slope is negative 4, so we're going to replace m with negative 4. x, we just found our b, so now we know it's negative 1. And there is your official final answer. Okay, let's keep going. You would try one on your own. Um, I'm going to have to erase all of this now. Give me a second. Okay, and so I'm hoping that you're understanding that what we're really doing is we're just substituting out the information that we already have and solving. Okay, that's all you're doing when we're working with these kind of equations. Um, let's keep going. Let's see if I can kind of... Okay, so from here, you're just going to the activity. If you have any questions after this, please, please, please let me know. But have a great day, and I will see you later.